video here. Um, I've covered MIDI QOL before and how it can improve your workflow for combat and things like that. They've recently added a new feature, which I really like, which is a prompt for reactions. And the can this kind of inserts itself in the combat flow. Normally with Foundry, it's, it's hit, here's the damage. With this, reactions that the prompted, uh, player's prompted to make will be inserted before the hit lands. So to show you what I mean by that, um, for example, a shield, uh, an attack that would have hit, but a shield spell is thrown up. The opportunity comes in to cast it, and when that's happened, it will say, okay, well it now misses. To show you what I mean, I set up a combat between a dire wolf and one of my players. I've already set up and started combat, and the dire wolf is first. So the dire wolf is going to attack the player. I'm going to make it advantage and plus 20 to make sure it definitely hits. And you'll see what happens now to the player. Because I'm a DM control. Um, I'm control at the moment. It's popped up. So these are all the abilities and items that this player has um, that has a usage of one reaction. Uh, and they can click here to, you know, to use one of those reactions. The only thing I don't like about this is like, those gloves of missile snaring, the player is not currently attuned to them. So it obviously doesn't look for items that have a reaction usage to see if they're attuned. That's something that maybe the module developer will look at in the future. But what was the hit? It was a 44 to hit. Um, if the player clicks shield, well, the player is currently tapped in our campaign. So I'll say it does not use a spell slot. Um, I know a 44 obviously still would have hit, but for the purpose of the video, you can see it's adjusted their AC and the spell is cast. Um, I think that's really, really useful. It's very helpful for you as a DM as well when you're running a combat uh, and you have enemies that might have reactions because it's the you know, same as legendary and lair actions. It's so easy to forget. I mean, as I said before, I've got three players, two NPCs, Two of them have um, dire wolf pet currently because one tamed one and one used the silver bag of tricks. And because there's no uh, no daytime in my Barovia at the moment, um, the, the dawn never comes, so the wolf never despawns. So I've got a group of seven, and the ranger always summons eight owls. Um, so I can quite often be running combat with fifteen actors, fifteen party members against enemies so easy to forget that's why these modules come in really handy like D, &D 5e helpers prompting you to remember legendary actions um combat utility belt i think it is Let, lets you put additional combatants which you can track a layer you, know, you can put layer action in the initiative and then this to prompt you for reactions very very useful stuff uh, really helps you as a dm maintain and keep on top of the flow of combat as ever leave a comment let me know what you liked what you didn't like and i'll see you in the next video